Well, this board was made in the 60s. It was a signature model, and we called it the Red Fin. It had three stringers. We double glassed it with Boland 10 ounce glass, which was the strongest of glass in those days. Compared to all the other long boards during that day, they usually had a single stringer, and the boards were breaking um, on the nose and in the middle all the time. And we never, I never had a problem with any board breaking, even when I, it flew off a car. And one of the qualities of it is uh, the rails. Rails are 60-40, Skip Fry, uh, Barry Kainapuni, uh, Billy Hamilton, uh, David Rulo, just a few of uh, surfers that uh, rode it. So we used to go surfing and we pull up to a surf spot with all six boards on the car. Six of us would step out and we all go out in the water at the same time, maybe three to four waves during the set where there's six of us out there. <laughs> and so we had no problem catching waves. In fact, you know, we just go out there and catch every wave that was available. Phil Evers told me one time that the red fin was the first board he had seen with the back of the fin cut out. But this was the, uh, one of the most popular boards during its day. In fact, it still sells.